Well, hello, my frilly shoppers, and welcome back. This is Gina, and this is my shopping live, and we are back shopping at Trader Joe's today. Hope you're having a great day so far. Now, normally we see the plants out here, and they are inside. It's a little warm, but this is a good spot for them. It looks really nice. Now, it's a lot of the succulents and the plants we have seen in the past. Nothing really new yet, but this time of year, with the heat and just the season, we'll start to see some new coming out hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Now, normally they don't have a beer up front. This is a stone brewery called Fight On, $10.99 for a pack of six. Now, at first I thought this was the maple chicken breakfast sausage. I grabbed the wrong one. But this one looks pretty good too. I just don't have the price. That should be over there on the left. Now the garlic herb chicken sausage, this one is actually really good. It's a pack of four. I like that it is small, but I just like, seriously, I just chop these up and just grill them. $4.29. Now they have some really interesting wraps here. And these are great for on the go, just grab them on the go. $4.99 for the veggie wrap. And then we have a spicy lentil wraps, vegan. So I love that they put that out there. So, you know, depending on your diet, they're not gluten-free though, but there are some that are meatless or vegan. And then some, of course, like the chicken salad has meat in them. And so this one actually sounds really good. Some of them look better <laughs> than others. Looks like the Buffalo style may be the most popular. Sometimes you could tell in the morning if people are grabbing more of these, $4.99. Buffalo chicken is one of my favorites. I just, I love that spiciness with it, especially with the ranch dressing. Now here's a Southwest chicken wrap. Oh, that one sounds good too, $5.99. Some, some different prices, we've seen $4.99, and this one is $4.99, now that one sounds good too. That was $5.49. But I think I'm just gonna grab the turkey club. I'm gonna try this one. And then we also have a tuna salad wrap as well for $4.99. And then some of the new items, let's check these out. Now the peanut butter granola, or chocolate granola, it has a new item, no price on this one. Trader Joe's has a lot of really great granola. And I mean, there's such a great variety. So it really depends on what you're looking for. Now there's the tiniest chocolate chip cookies. These would be good on top of like ice cream, a cake, or if you just want some little cookies to eat. These are $3.99. So a lot that you could do with that one. Now this one sounds really interesting. Is it freeze dried fig slices? What would you put those on? Like a salad? That actually sounds good. Figs are really good. Now $2.99, the organic mango chutney. This one looks really good. I have a few items like these, so I've got to get through those before I buy any more. And I know I could probably just buy them all and try them all, but that adds up. <laughs> That's a lot of food. There are two new teas. This is $5.49. I love the packaging. I'm wondering if they're changing some of the packaging. Now this one is $4.49. We saw this one last time I was at Trader Joe's. And the nuts. I need some sliced almonds. $3.99. Such a good price. I know nuts could get pricey, but this is just ready to go. I was out with a friend and we had like the sliced, we had toast with cream cheese and with raspberry and sliced almonds. I never thought of putting sliced almonds like on a bread with jam. So that was so good. So I'm going to grab some of those. And there's different ones. Really depends on, you know, what you're looking for, what your taste is. Like there's sweet and spicy, there's candy pecans, or just regular dry toasted pecan pieces for $3.99. And I like these for salads. I wish there was candy pecans that were like all, you know, chopped up, but I know I could probably just do that myself. And these I could just eat right out of the bag. $4.49 for those. Now the sweetened and dried orange slices for $1.99. I want these for cocktails. So I'm going to grab some of those, you know, to add a little extra fanciness to them. So those are good to have on hand, but like banana chips, the mango. I have probably tried about 90% of their dried fruit. So many great uses for it and they're just, they're good. I like the price point and I love the variety. 
It's chili spice mango. That is actually really good. I haven't had this one yet. Chili spice pineapple. Honestly, I've never had dried pineapple before. I can't believe it either. <laughs> but so many good ones to choose from. Now the teas, the blood orange. This one is so good. It's a herbal tea, so this one is caffeine free, but I do like that one once in a while. Now this one is one of my new favorites, the mango black tea. It makes such good iced tea, so that's a good one to have on hand. But such a nice variety, and the price, the price is just right. If you open up my pantry, honestly, you'll see like this little row of the Trader Joe teas. Now there's sparkling water. I'm gonna grab the lime for my husband. He really likes that one. I bought the pineapple a couple of weeks ago. I'm looking for that one, and I don't find it. But star fruit, I don't think I've ever had a star fruit like beverage. That is interesting. I wish they sold it as a single. They have a couple of singles right here. Now the organic strawberry lemonade, $3.99. I bought this for the kids. They didn't care for it. They said it just didn't taste right. Interesting. But the tea tree tingle, <laughs> I have been buying this for years. So I'm gonna grab some more of the shampoo. I go through more shampoo than the conditioner. And then the fearless flyer, all of their good little foods. I love that little fearless flyer. Now these are really good. Those are just easy to heat up. I know sometimes it's kind of hard to read the nutrition facts on these, but those are good to have on hand, $4.79. This one looks like it's been really popular and I know why, because it's good. <laughs> this is the vegetable stir fry and it has the sauce in there. so. All you have to do is just heat this one up and you can add, if you want to add some meats to it or just have it as vegetables, you could do that. Now this shrimp is really good. It has a kick to it. Even before you get to the sauce, the shrimp is a little spicy and I like it. It's got a breading. The breading is what's spicy for the shrimp. It's a good size box. I like these easy meals, especially now with school back, Monday through Friday, it has been really busy. And then the oatmeal, $2.29. And this is two packages with brown sugar and maple syrup. So this is all ready to go. So if you're looking for like some easy like breakfast or early morning, and then the mini cheeseburgers, I really wanted to like these, $4.50 for three of them. The packaging is really cute. I tried it, it just wasn't for me. And if you've tried any of these items, please let us know in the comments below. Now I've had these in the past. These are back. The Jamaican style beef patties. These are really good. They're spicy turnovers and the pastry. I really do enjoy these. Easy to heat up. And I like these for lunch. Now the pita bite crackers for $2.99. I need to grab a new box. This is this is a staple in our house. I really like these with sea salt and you can make those savory or sweet if you want. Now this is the multigrain. Now here is one I've been wanting to try. And this Korean tofu and vegetable with the seaweed. So I've been wanting to try this. It's frozen kind of look at some of the nutrition. I was trying to see how to prepare it. And it looks like they're saying like the microwave, but I don't have a microwave, but we're gonna try these anyways. I'm just gonna pop these in the oven at 400 degrees just for a couple of minutes. But these are a good size. So we have these home, a fun little snack. Honestly, this will be lunch for me for today. So I did pop them in two minutes. And I test it out because you don't want it to be over dry. Now I'm going to add some of those to it. That's some of my favorite. You can see I need a new one. So I'll give that a try. See the veggies? It looks pretty good. And they actually taste really good. I wasn't sure what I was expecting, but I like it. I like the flavor. Again, two minutes. Any more, it would have been too dry. But it was just enough to defrost them because I popped it in frozen now the asparagus spears. I like having these on hand because I do like asparagus and it has calories. Now those are 349 
And those are good, especially if it's off season. You can't find the fresh ones. The Brussels sprouts, $1.49 for those. Now, the seasoned Brussels sprouts, these cost a little bit more, but with Parmesan cheese, $4.29. But you can take the other one for $1.49 and just add your own season butter and some Parmesan cheese. And you'll save a couple of dollars too. The organic peas. And then of course, keep frozen. And really, the calories, there's just really no calories. So the organic was $2.29. This one is just the regular petite peas. So that costs a little bit less. And then the chopped spinach. Now, I like having this on hand because I do that chopped spinach with sour cream. Yeah, make your own dip. $2.29. The organic super sweet cut corn. That sounds really good. And I like having like corn on hand. It really depends on what your favorite is. There's a couple of really good ones. But I'm going to grab this one. The spicy Mexican style rice cauliflower. That sounds really good. $3.79. I'll keep you posted on that one. And here is some of the nutrition. Yeah, this is actually good. I like the nutrition so far. I'll keep you posted on the taste. But if you want just plain rice cauliflower, they have that too for $1.99. So you could make your own. And then the, oh, the seasoned waffle cut fries are back. I had these last year or maybe it was a few months ago. You know, things come and go at Trader Joe's. I'm going to grab this one. I like those. And that one is $3.79. Now, I know a lot of the pumpkin items are starting to come out. Here is the beer. This is the only thing I find in the store today. Hopefully, in the next couple days, we can start finding a couple of more items. Sadly, I couldn't find the price on there. I even asked. They wasn't sure yet. So, hopefully, we see that next time we are at Trader Joe's. The Old Fashioned. Now, this is $19.99. The bottle, it's already pre-made. So, all you have to do is really just pour that over ice. And then here is the display. Not a bad price. Now, it's made with bourbon whiskey. I don't drink Old Fashions. They're very strong, but I like the label. The bottle is actually really pretty. Some of these bottles are just really nice to look at. Like, you just keep it on display. You don't want to open it. Now, I did find these two, $2.50 each. I'm going to make beer bread with those. And still looking for some more pumpkin. Not yet. But hopefully next week we will have them. So everybody, thank you so much for coming along with me to Trader Joe's today. Thank you again for watching. Take care and I will talk to you later.